This is an introduction designed to provide you with some information and general guidelines relevant to the Level 4 lab and the practical aspects of the Chem 1017A Physical Chemistry course. Safety. Whenever you are performing practical work in the lab, you should always be clothed appropriately. You should likewise wear appropriate safety gear if you are going to be in the lab close to someone else who is working or if you are going to be near to chemicals. The bare minimum this involves is the wearing of safety glasses and a lab coat, although for some of the practicals and procedures you will be performing, additional safety gear, such as gloves, may also be needed. You also need to wear appropriate underclothing, for example, shorts and open shoes should not be worn. Food and drink should not be brought into the lab. Any food or drink in the lab must be assumed to be contaminated and not fit for consumption. Mobile phones must not be used in the labs or be left with an audible ringtone. A ringing phone is a distraction to both you and the people around you, which is not safe when practical work is being performed. In the event of an emergency, follow the instructions from the demonstrators. For example, if there is a fire alarm, you should leave your apparatus in a safe state and follow the demonstrators who will lead you to the fire assembly point, which is located by the library. Whenever you are in the lab, behave with all due care and attention with regard to the safety of yourself and those around you. Attendance requirements. You have been timetabled two sessions per week for this course. One of these has been assigned as your practical session and the other as your write-up session. Attendance of your practical session is mandatory. If you are, or have been, unable to attend a session, for example through illness, you should contact, as soon as possible, Colin Flowers, that's me, the Level 4 Lab Manager. Attendance of practical sessions is monitored by the sign-off of your lab book by the staff demonstrator once you have completed the practical. If you do not get your lab book signed off, you will not be recorded as having attended the session, so make sure you remember to see the staff after you have finished the practical. Although you will have been timetabled a specific day and time for your write-up session, you are not required to attend this. However, it is recommended that you do attend if you believe you may need assistance with your write-up. If you attend, you are expected to work in the Level 3 computer room, and during this session you will be able to receive assistance from staff who will be either located in the computer room itself or in the Level 4 lab. If you choose not to attend at this time, the requirement is that at some point during the week you must spend, either in the computer room or elsewhere, an equivalent amount of time working on your write-up. Your fulfilment of the write-up session requirement is monitored by the submission of a lab report of an acceptable standard. If you do not hand in your lab report, you will be considered not to have attended your write-up session and your grade will drop as a consequence. Submission requirements. Practical reports are due in one week after you start the practical. For example, if you started the practical now, the report would be due in exactly one week from now. Your lab book should be handed in when you submit your final physical chemistry lab report this semester. It will be returned to you when you attend the lab in semester two. And again, it should be submitted along with your final semester two lab report. In the Semester 2 Physical Chemistry Practical course, you will be performing three of the possible eight practicals. Every effort is made to ensure that you are assigned those practicals which you believe you would find most interesting. For that to be done, however, you must submit your Semester 2 Practical Options form before the end of December. If you wish to find out more about the available Semester 2 practicals, you can read the synopses of them which have been provided in your Semester 1 Physical Chemistry Lab Manual, watch short video summaries of some of them, read the lab scripts which are available online, or finally, ask me about them. But remember, if you want your preferences to be taken into account, you must submit the options form before the end of December. If you have any questions about the physical chemistry course, or if you need some assistance with the practicals, analysis or report writing, please feel free to contact me. I can usually be found either in the Level 4 lab or in my office that adjoins the lab, or in the Level 3 computer room. Alternatively, you can get in touch with me using my university email account, and there are also a variety of instant messaging services that can be used to contact me. Please note that I use most of these for simple text chats only, 
so you should not bother trying to use any advanced features. Further details of my likely availability on the various instant messaging services I use is given in the Computer Room Guidelines document you were issued with. You should be aware that I do not use any of my instant messaging accounts for emails. If you email me at one of these accounts, I will not receive it. If you do want to email me, use my university email address. Everything covered in this talk, along with additional information, such as how to write reports, keep your lab book, the feedback regime, and other course policies, are detailed in your lab manual. This concludes the introduction to Physical Chemistry Year 1 practicals.